everyone, your girl Anna is back and she's bringing you some warm summer content for these cold winter March days. Let me introduce you to the best, and I mean the best, strawberries in the world. Finnish strawberries. I've been consuming Finnish strawberries since summer 2015 and I've been always wondering how can they taste better than the ones we have in Mediterranean climate. Last summer I finally decided to find out what is so unique about Finnish strawberries, so I went to the largest strawberry farm in Finland, Koivistoisen Mansika Paika, or in English Koiviston Strawberry Place. This is like a wonderland for berries. Stay with me to find out what makes Finnish strawberries so unique and how do Finnish strawberry farms function. We have a receipt and we can get to the van to take us to the field. We paid 5 euros per head, which is 10 euros altogether, me and Yanni, who is behind the camera. And for these 10 euros, uh, we get to the van, have a free ride to the field. One ticket, so this 5 euros, is for 2 kilos of strawberries. So here we have paid for already 4 kilos of strawberries. We can pick buckets which are over here. You basically borrow them, you pick as many strawberries as you want. And at the end we come to this place where I got these tickets. And they measure how many strawberries you got in your buckets. And then you pay extra on top of these 4 kilos that you already paid. So this one bucket has approximately 3 kilos of strawberries. So it means that if we pick like two full buckets, that's gonna be about six kilos. We have to pay two more kilos. That's it. Let's go to the van. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Just a moment. We're getting in. 2020 summer in Finland had just started, there were almost no corona cases in the country and the masks were not required in the public transport yet, in case you're wondering why we're not wearing masks in the next shots. On the way to the field I had a little chat with our farm driver Maxim. Do you have professional pickers here at all or it's just no, people coming? No, no, okay. just people coming. Uh, it's a tradition, it's been uh, many years this way. This has nothing to do with Corona. Okay, but what it's it every think? summer. How how did Corona affect the profit? Uh, I don't think it has affected. Okay, that's, a lot. that's awesome. Pretty amazing that 2020 pandemic didn't have almost any effect on the Finnish berry farms market. However, it wasn't an easy situation for the farmers. Their main berry pickers are foreign workers who were unable or were unwilling to travel to Finland due to pandemic. Therefore, farmers had to rely on domestic seasonal workers, which seems to have worked quite well. Here is Laura. She's working on this strawberry field. I've been here, this is my first summer, and I've been liking it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, the people are very nice and um, it's about like third week here. Okay. And maybe a month more. Mm -hmm. It depends on the weather and okay. how the strawberry grows and everything. Okay, so they grow until the end of August? About, yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, so the people come here with the, those cars mm -hmm. and then I show where to pick. And there is like the other guide also. So we have two or three guides in the field. Uh huh. And we will tell where to go and where to pick. Perfect. Let's start and let's pick our strawberries. Oh, uh, this is Jere. It's the person who was waving to us. Why are you waving to people? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I work as a summer job here as uh -huh. an instructor. Is it fun? Uh, yeah, I mean you get to be outside. It's summertime, so yeah, that's I true. Complain, yeah. How is it when it's rainy day? Uh well, usually there's not that much people, uh -huh. that many people, so we usually get day offs. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. And I do I do this only for like besides studying, so I don't do it like full time. Point so your line would be here. So you can take uh -huh. this line. This is our line. Yeah. Uh, so we split the field in half. So no, this side has been already plucked, as you can see. It. Yes. So you can work towards the end there. Okay, so this is our line from here until the end. Do you have any <laughs> tips how to pick uh, strawberries? Uh, well, I mean, they're gonna be weighted at the farm. Uh -huh. So, and usually, can you pick it? Yeah. You either have to do it now or later. So yeah. I would recommend doing it now. Just split the 
and take them off. Yeah, the part you're gonna eat is uh -huh. okay. And remember the taste of this. Always the taste. It. Always. <laughs> Great, I love it. Yeah. The more they're red, the better, I guess. I got a permission to try it, so I'm gonna try it. Mm. This is so sweet. Oh my God. Mm. I love it. Here's one yanni for you. You deserve it. We've tasted a lot of strawberries while picking them. And they do taste better, or let's say sweeter, than any other strawberries I've ever had. Look at this beauty. This is like, I don't know, this is perfect. This is what perfect strawberry, how perfect strawberry looks like. I'm finally coming to a conclusion. Why are Finnish strawberries simply sweeter slash better than other strawberries? Well, Finnish strawberries or in general Nordic berries do taste sweeter because they get more light during the summer. This is one of the greatest benefit of Nordic magical nightless nights. There are different varieties of strawberries. Some are more sweeter, some are more mild taste, but in general Finnish strawberries are just simply better, at least to me. The price to pick strawberry on a Finnish farm is about the same as the price in the market. That's why many people ask, is it even worth it to go there? I definitely say yes. Two reasons. First, you get to help local farmers who might be struggling with seasonal workers. And second, you get to try lots and lots of strawberries while you're picking them. It's a win-win, guys. Now what to do with so many berries? Make a pie, make a juice or lots of jam and freeze some for winter. We still have a couple of strawberry boxes left in our freezer. Yum! Few hours later and this is what we got. If you ever visit Finland during summer, picking and tasting Finnish strawberries is one of the must things to do. Now I'm back to enjoying a couple of more months until our strawberry season in Finland starts. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Love you guys, bye!